Hey guys, I'm Mixie and I'm an adult, I guess. So welcome to the first introductory video to how to adult with Mixie. born in 1992, so um, it's not the 2000s obviously, but I think that we still belong to the same generation. And <laughs> what I really want to talk about is how to be a responsible person that can take care of a household, that can cook, that can... Um, clean and wash clothes and stuff like that and also if that's your case to take care of a baby this is my son he was born um, on March 15 last year so he's a little over one year old right now and he's probably gonna climb all over me while I film this me and mine Boyfriend, spouse, significant other, whatever, we are not married. But I will probably say husband, because that's just what describes him for me. Um, we have been together for three years now, which is not much to have a one-year-old baby, I guess. Um, but a little before our second... No. A little before our first anniversary, actually, I found out that I was pregnant. And we were kinda expecting it, but of course we were not prepared, because honestly, you're never prepared. But when we found out, we were really happy, and we thought that this is the best thing ever. But unfortunately, I miscarried some eight weeks into the pregnancy. And, and it was really devastating for, for both of us, but it made us realize that we really wanted a baby. So um, I went to the doctor, I took some hormones to get my cycle back and stuff like that. And as soon as we could, we tried on purpose to have a baby and it worked out. Um, quite soon I became pregnant again and then nine months later I gave birth to this pumpkin <laughs> and at the time we had nowhere to live we didn't have much money um, my, my husband was at a new job and I was at a new job I was I didn't even have my degree finished. I actually finished my degree by, while I was eight months pregnant. So it was all kind of hard. Then I had to fight the government for my money um, because they didn't want to give me my maternity leave money. So I was without any finances for four months and it was kind of hard. But we managed and now we have our own beautiful house with an apartment and we have a guardian. Um, I'm on my maternity leave, so I've got some income, although in this country it's not much. And my husband has been in his job for some time, so it's also a lot better. But I want to say that um, we only say that we are adults when we are around people who we think are not adults, like children, or uh, teenagers, or uh, technically adult people who don't behave like adult people. But to be honest, I think, I think you're never quite adult. But if you are, what makes you adult is responsibility. And there's not anything to be more responsible for than your own child. 
I guess now that I have a child and I have a home to take care of, I feel adult, at least a little bit more than uh, when this wasn't the case. <laughs> so I, uh, <clears throat> I am now in charge of the home because of course I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I do all the cleaning, all the cooking, um, almost, almost all of it. And at the same time, I try to take care of myself. I try to go to the gym. I try to eat healthy. I try to go out a lot, so work on the garden and do stuff like that. And it's not easy. It's time consuming um, because the child takes all of your time. So when you're not with the child, somebody else needs to be there. And you just need to train some of your luxuries for some of the baby's luxuries and as I said it's not easy but I want to show you that you can do it and even if you don't have a child many of my friends have pets which in a way is kind of similar even people who have nothing like this need to build a home for themselves and they need to take care of themselves and their partner somehow. For us in our 20s, this is something we were not really trying to do, I guess, because nobody teaches you how to cook and how to sew and how to clean properly and how to do taxes and stuff like that at school. So now um, I know calculus, but <laughs> I had to learn all of these other things on my own. Uh, of course you can learn from your parents, but it's not, um, sometimes it's not the best thing. Because for example, my parents are horrible at this. And what I learned a lot from actually was when I lived with my boyfriends and their families because when you see the situation in some other family you definitely know what is right and what is wrong in the one you live in but if you don't know other families then the only thing you know is your own family and I think that's not very good I learned a lot from my husband's mom and I learned both what to do and what not to do in terms of taking care of the home but also in terms of taking care of your partner and of the relationship you're in. It's, it's a process. I think that be, being an adult is a process. That you go through the years in your life, you go through the experience, and it's not about how old you are, but it's about all the good, but mostly all about the bad stuff that has ever happened to you. In my case, it's, well, apart from the miscarriage, which, which was really bad. Um, Several months later, my dad uh, was sent to the hospital. Actually, he sent himself. And right at the time when I found out I was pregnant again and told him, um, he was already delirious. He had no idea who I was and things like that. And several days later, he died. Nobody expected that. We were completely in shock. I was on a vacation. Um, it, it was hard. It, it still is, kind of. It, it's going to be two years in the summer. And it's still hard. And it will be hard probably for the rest of my life. But it, it taught me a lot of things. It taught me to take care of your family before they're gone. It taught me to take care of myself and my body um, so I don't end up like this, dying in 66. Mm, I 
It taught me to have kids early, so you don't have to watch your parents die when you're 24. And <coughs> actually, it's uh, it, it just forms you. Things like this just form your personality and and make you the person you are, even though they're bad and even though they make you sad. But then things happen that make you happy, like this little guy. <laughs> so I um, I don't know how much of what I said will I put in the final video because it kind of makes me emotional, but I want to say in this introduction that being an adult is about things you learn. It is about things you experience, it is about uh, the good and the bad that happens to you in life, and it has nothing to do with age. And even though you sometimes have to trade some of your personal luxuries for something else, I think it's all worth it in the end. I hope you like my speech. <laughs> And I hope I'll see you next time in some other video. Bye.